This decommissioned naval nuclear reactor is being transported to the Hanford nuclear site to join dozens of other reactors from old nuclear cruisers and submarines. But why these reactors are stored in an open air pit is not what you think. When a nuclear submarine is decommissioned, the fuel is removed, the fluids are drained, and the pipes are sealed. And then, the entire reactor compartment and adjoining areas are cut off from the submarine. Steel plating is welded on each end to seal the compartment. The reactor is then transported on barge on the Columbia River. And then, the beauty and the beast take over the transportation. I get the regulations and all, but I think before you can read the oversized sign, you can already see the giant reactor. Once at the Hanford site, the reactors are moved to their final location using a rail system. But the reason the decommissioned reactors are stored in an open-air area is due to the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty, which requires satellite verification of nuclear reactors between the US and Russia so they can keep an eye on each other. 